Hello, very good evening. CSS is basically very popular language that allows us to control uh, the design layout of our web pages. In other words, it is more commonly known as a scripting language that controls how the page are designed in terms of the contents that are being displayed on our web pages. My name is Dr. Dishan Bhatti. Welcome to Online Tutorials. If you are here for the first time, please don't forget to subscribe my channel so that you get updates on all the latest tutorials on web programming and other length courses. Let's begin. So CSS, why we need to use CSS? CSS is basically stands for cascading style sheet. It has been used for a very long time. The major purpose of using CSS is that it allows us to control the design, the way a web page look. In other words, the look and feel of your web page. Okay, it controls that how each component is displayed, the font size, the font color, the background, the foreground, every component in form of designing. Now, CSS does not provide the content. Content is something that we provide through HTML. Okay, CSS provides us the design aspects. Data that comes in comes using HTML. However, CSS controls how that data appears on HTML. So that is one major use of CSL. It controls the look and feel, the design, the appearance of the content on your web page. The content that you provide is provided through your HTML. HTML provides the content, structures it, then the designing aspect is basically composed using CSS. That's how basically it works. Second major aspect was that when HTML was developed and the font and few uh, tags were provided with HTML, the designing of content was very difficult because if you have HTML and you use HTML designing as tools uh, tags, basically what you need to do is you need to provide every page level, every tag level control. And that was a very nightmare for lots of people because for example, if you have a thousand pages in your website, you would now require to go into every single web page to make every single change. For example, font size, if you just have to change the font size, now you have to go into a 1000 pages to change the font size if it's in HTML. What CSS does, it allows us to control those 1000 pages from one single source. So by changing just one single point, you change the content layout of your HTML that may be of a thousand pages. You know, so it became a lot more easy to control and manipulate your entire websites. Okay, update your content on your websites. So this is what basically CSTML does. Then what it also does is it also allows us to control how your data may look on different web pages. So the same data can have multiple different layout. The same structure can have multiple different look and feel. So for example, um, if you come here, CSS style sheet one, this is one style. But if you click on style sheet two, the same content now has a completely different layout. Then if I go into three, now the same content has a completely different layout. This is what CSS does. The content is there from HTML, but by just changing the CSS, you can change the appearance of your entire content. So you don't have to update the content. You just need to update the CSS to complete change the look and feel of your web pages so this is what the main purpose of CSS is now what CSS or how basically we use CSS for uh, using CSS uh, you need three main concepts to understand first CSS can be used using inline CSS use CSS can be used within internal HTML CSS or most commonly used as an external CSS so you can use CSS in three different forms inline CSS that is written within the tag in internal CSS that is written within an HTML page and external CSS that is completely outside written in a completely different file and then multiple pages can refer to it. Each CSS contains one what we call a selector. This selector is basically the name of your tag. Okay, so this is the HTML tag name. It's nothing different. Whatever tags you want to control, the layout of the tags that you want to control, simply you write the tag name here. Then bracket start, bracket close. Okay, that is the major syntax of CSS. Uh, then within that bracket, we give the property name and its value, the property name and its value. That's what it goes. So within every CSS, we have what we call a selector, which is basically an HTML tag, the bracket start, bracket close, and then we give what we call a property. Now properties are basically as CSS attributes. Okay. In HTML, we refer the word attributes. So if, for example, you have body, you give attribute, you have a, a, a um, for example, a H1 tag or paragraph tag, you give attributes. Attributes is a common term we used to use within HTML. When we come to CSS, it's same thing, but with because now we're using a different scripting language, if I start using word attribute, attribute here, it creates confusion. So what we usually do, we use a, a, a word property. Okay, so in HTML, we use the word attributes. In CSS, we use the word properties. Properties are basically attributes, properties of your HTML text. So in this case, this is a paragraph tag, the property color, the property text alignment, and then obviously the value 
of that particular property the value of that particular property this is an example of internal css or external css inline css obviously appears within the tag we will talk about that in next lectures so in order to use css you have to remember that you can write use it in three different ways internal css inline css and what we call uh, external css each css basically contains something called selector which is basically the css uh, html tag name the property name which are various different properties that are used within css we just have to understand how these properties are what we use these properties for where we can use these properties for and the particular value that each property may have you can give multiple properties you can control these properties with various different values each tag have multiple different attributes each tag may have multiple different css styles uh, css is also based on classes so we create classes and same tag can have multiple different classes so that you can use it in different formats okay so this is just a brief introduction of css uh, and we will talk about more of this in next class thank you very much see you around